Ah yes, the vending machine. The magical dispenser that gives you whatever you want, whenever you need it. Alright, well I guess I should say, America doesn't really focus too much on vending machines, but uh, let's think about a country maybe like uh, Japan. They have over 5 million vending machines. That's pretty crazy. Now, before I delve into the Japanese vending machine culture, I would like to talk a little bit about how the vending machine was created. It is believed that the first vending machine was created in 215 BC, and it was believed to be a holy water dispenser in Egypt. Now, the first Japanese vending machine that was ever created was in 1888. Basically, what the machine did it was a tobacco vendor. The man who created this machine patented his idea and also created another machine that was an automatic stamp and postcard dispenser. Eventually, we started to see Japanese wind-up dolls and many other things. In the 50s, fountain-style juice dispensers were created, and those were a hit. And by 1973, the number of vending machines exceeded to 2 million, and in the 84 reached 5 million. There certainly was a craze with the vending machine business in Japan, and it still flourishes today. Now you're probably wondering, so what's the difference? Why are they so popular over there? Well, it's about the culture. And it has been noted that people who come and visit Japan from different countries always seem to talk about the vending machines, because they do go from awesome to extremely bizarre to just plain disturbing. And it's all legal. Let's say you have a rainy day and you forgot your umbrella. Well, there's a machine for that. What if you're craving a cheeseburger, but you don't have enough time to go to a McDonald's or any other fast food place? Well, there is a vending machine that can make you a nice, fresh burger on the go. What if you're having a heart attack and uh, you fall right next to a vending machine? Well, in Tokyo, there are machines now that have defibrillators that will bring you back to life if you're just not feeling too well. Now, the reasoning why vending machines in Japan are very popular and successful is uh, for one very big reason. They have a very low crime and petty theft rate, so they can have a ton of machines out there and nobody's going to vandalize them or rob them or break into them or anything. But despite that, I decided to interview some people and ask them a couple big questions about vending machines. And I know it's an absurd topic, but, well, their answers are pretty interesting. Heck to the freaking yes. Of course. Like Okay, like how fresh? Like, would the ingredients be like... What? <laughs> no, I'm gluten-free. Sure. No. No. No! That's weird. Yeah. I think we have enough. <laughs> vending machines are the devil. Uh, I've been to Japan, and I've seen all the vending machines. I haven't seen some of those weird ones, but I've seen a bunch of them, and they have, like, coffee and snacks, a bottle opener, or I don't know. It's just, like, random random little things, a uh, little flashlight, or... It's some Japanese vending machines over here. Pronto, man. Japanese are... Yeah, man. More local restaurants. That's what I want. <laughs> yeah, local restaurants. That are too. cheap and 24 hours for poor college students. I don't think they do. How would they serve alcohol in a vending machine if you're not 21? Um, I, I can see the convenience, but I don't. Is it even legal to drink in public? If there's vending machines everywhere, it takes the experience of going to bars and socializing with people. Yeah, but you can go to a liquor store and whole... get beer. But if there's a vending machine for or, or, it, okay, wait. Better, better analogy. <laughs> better analogy. Blockbuster. Weird. It's weird. Shit. Used panties or used? Oh, that's completely horrific. That's just messed up. Wait, used women's panties? How did they get these panties? Oh yeah, I did hear about that. Yeah. No, gross. <laughs> weird. It's really weird and like really objectifying. I mean, I'd rather it being sold in a vending machine than a guy coming up to me and be like, "Give me your panties." In closing, we live in an ever-evolving world. And yeah, the Japanese vending machine lifestyle may be a bit more advanced than what we're used to, but let's not forget that we have been highly influenced by it. 
I mean, you can be walking down the mall and there's a Best Buy vending machine just hanging right next to you. Maybe we're learning from them and we're bringing more of their futuristic values to our everyday life. Whatever it is, vending machines are here to stay for a long time.